This lesson could be your very last. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. Now I have to apologize straight off the bat because I said the Doctor Strange Apple time effect was going to happen this episode, but it's actually been quite a crazy week for me. So instead I thought we'd jump back to Transformers and take on this request. So a whole bunch of you asked for a Quintessa voice effect from Transformers The Last Night. So that's what we're doing today guys. And just to let you know, the Doctor Strange Apple effect will be up as soon as I finish it. I just wanted to do this one as a bit of a stopgap between then and there. So I'm just gonna say right off the bat that if you have a female voice actor or just an actor to do the voice for this effect, by all means, do it and do it now. Because otherwise, you're just gonna be a man that's doing an impression of a female. And you wanna know how that goes? Listen to this. Your world is dying. I am Quintessa, the prime of life. I made you, you are mine to command. Mm, I think I'm gonna let Lawrence take this one. My God. So yeah guys, the first part of this tutorial is gonna show you how to turn your male voice into a female voice using Ikram Trax V3 from Flux Audio. We actually used this in our Batman voice effect a few weeks back, so if you've still got the demo installed on your computer, you're all good. But if you don't, head to the link in the description. There is a few steps to go through in order to get it on your computer, but they're all explained on the website and to install it into your VST folder on Adobe Audition, just check out our Batman voice effect, which goes through those steps. I'm glad I actually picked the whole Quintessa voice effect request in order to do the whole male to female voice effect, because can you imagine what a standalone episode that might be? Hey guys, welcome to this specially creepy film learning episode where I teach you how to catfish people by turning your voice from male to female. And it looks a little something like this. Well, hello there. <coughs> oh. You'll never forget that now. Let's get to work. Okay guys, here we are in Adobe Audition. I've got my voice recording uh, all recorded. So let's start by having a listen to my bass impression of Quintessa. Your world is dying. I am Quintessa, the prime of life. I made you, you are mine to command. Okay, now I'll be the first to admit that that's not that great. Mainly due to the fact that I'm not a female and I'm doing an impression of a female with the intention to change my voice from male to female, which gives us this weird sounding impression. So I'll just say one more time, if you have a female actor that can voice your Quintessa character, do that, seriously do that, because you can then skip this first part entirely. But let's soldier on with the male to female part to try and fem this up a little bit. So firstly, let's head to Effect, VST and find Tracks V3. Now if you haven't got this demo yet, make sure you head to the link in the description and grab it and install it before you move along. Okay, so we have a few settings to tweak in order to achieve a lady voice from a male. Now the obvious one here is the male female dial right here, but that alone isn't gonna cut it. But let's start with it and go from there. So let's crank that up to 100 and have a listen. Your world is dying. I am Quintessa, the prime of life. I made you, you are mine to command. As you can hear, it's made the pitch a lot higher, but it's not exactly what we want. It sounds way too high and kinda stupid. That's where our other settings come into play. For starters, if we add breathy at 50%, set the young old to 50%, and the flat expression to say 20% and have a listen. Your world is dying. I am Quintessa, the prime of life. I made you, you are mine to command. You can hear that it makes it sound a little more human. But for me, it's still a little high. So I'm gonna head up to Formant right here and I'm gonna knock it down to minus two. Just to lower that pitch slightly without messing with the male-female dial. Let's have a listen to that now. Your world is dying. I am Quintessa, the prime of life. I made you, you are mine to command. It sounds a bit more natural to me now. Well, as natural as a man pretending to be a female playing a robot can sound. But I digress. 
Now I know I say it a bunch guys, but when you are working with your recording, be sure and play with all of these dials that I've just mentioned and really experiment because what works for my recording may not work for yours. I can't emphasize how important it is to play around with all of these settings until you're happy. My last step here is to head over to output and bump up the volume and touch as it's a little too soft in my opinion. Once you're happy, let's hit apply and we'll start on the next step. This is where anyone that's actually recorded a female smartly can jump in. Let's head over to the project window and now we're gonna right click on our newly femmed voice and we're gonna hit insert into multi-track session. This will, you guessed it, create a multi-track session for us to layer not one, but two instances of our Quintessa voice recording that we just femaled up. Now the one we're gonna work on first is the bottom layer. Just consider this the effects layer. This is the layer we'll be adding not only some pitch bending, but that garbled digital modulation sound that's present when Quintessa speaks. Let's just mute the top layer and get to work on that. So let's head over to the effects rack, to VST, and select our good old friend Trax V3 again. Make sure you set it to default right up here from the drop down menu so we can start from scratch once more. Firstly, we're gonna set the transpose down to minus 10. This is gonna give us that sweet modulation effect, much like with our Batman voice effect from a couple of weeks back, except maybe a little bit more forceful. Next, we really wanna overemphasize the highs and lows in our voice sample. So I'm gonna set the flat expression to 100%. And finally, to add a little bit more bassiness, I'm gonna change the young old setting to full old and just set that to 100% as well. With all that done, it sounds like this. Your world is dying. I am Quintessa, the prime of life. I made you, you are mine to command. I know it sounds kind of weird, but stick with me guys. Now, as always, have a play and see what works for your recording. Just do your best to make it sound like what I've just done here. Now let's close out tracks and do a bit of mixing. For starters, let's unmute our top layer. Next, we need to boost that top layer so it's not overwhelmed by our bottom layer with all those effects going on. So let's boost it, say, five decibels. There we go. Oh, and while we're at it, let's head over to the effects rack, head to modulation and select flanger. And all we're gonna do is just set this one to robot from the drop down menu. This gives our bass vocal just that slight metallic taste. From there, we're gonna head to our bottom layer and bust that down, say five decibels, just to lessen it a bit. But you should have a play and find the right balance for both your recordings. Now let's have a listen to that. Your world is dying. I am Quintessa, the prime of life. I made you, you are mine to command. I'm pretty happy with that effect, so I'm gonna export it. Let's head up to File, Export, select Multi-Track Mix Down, and then select Entire Session. We now have our multi-track session down to one audio file, and we've got our Quintessa voice. Once again, I do wanna say this will work so much better if you actually have a female voice. But if you don't, just follow the steps in the first part and you'll be fine. And that, my friends, is another voice effect. Mm, done. So guys, add up all those steps and your voice goes from this. Your world is dying. I am Quintessa, the prime of life. I made you, you are mine to command. After this. Your world is dying. I am Quintessa, the prime of life. I made you, you are mine to command. So guys, that's my take on the Quintessa voice effect from Transformers The Last Night. As you can see, once you convert your voice from male to female, it's really not that hard to layer all the effects on and get a really cool effect going. Just be sure and use that male to female voice conversion for good instead of that. And guys, if you are interested in that Transformers 3D title text that I had at the start of the video, check out the channel Extreme Gameplays down in the description below. He actually has a free Cinema 4D template that was super easy to work with, so check him out. Just be aware, you do have to download the Transformers movie font if you wanna make any changes, which you will, so download the font. But for now guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it and share it up if you like. Our Doctor Strange time apple effect will be coming up in a few days, so keep an eye out for that. And if you are new here, why not hit that subscribe button? And even if you are subscribed, make sure you turn that notifications on by hitting that bell down there and doing all the clicky stuff. 
but my social media crap is above my head. I post that work in progress goodness all the time, guys, so check them out. And until I see you again and we reverse some time, keep learning.